Show, and we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the international research mission finally underway. Roger, roll Columbia. Com Columbia now rolling on to the proper azimuth for a 39 degree inclination to orbit. Shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Columbia already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, four and a half miles in altitude, the main engines beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Husband, joined on the flight deck by pilot Willie McCool, flight engineer Colt Nachavla, and mission specialist Dave Brown, mission specialist Laurel Clark, payload commander Mike Anderson, and payload specialist Elon Ramon seated down on the mid deck. One minute, 26 seconds into the flight, Columbia 10 miles downrange, 13 miles in altitude, traveling at 1,800 miles an hour. away from solid rocket booster separation everything looking good on board Columbia Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Columbia's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space for main engine cutoff. Columbia now 43 miles downrange.